vlog time. Uh, it's gonna be quick um, and painless. Uh, a lot going on. UFC this weekend in uh, Anaheim. Gonna be working with Clay. Um, I'll be working in his corner. Um, last weekend, UFC 138 with uh, Munoz beating Levin. Uh, great fight. Just shows. I mean, as tough as Levin is, it shows just how how much of a beast uh, Munoz is. <clears throat> his ground and pound is probably one of the best in the business. Um, it was a good card. Thiago Alves fought. Um, it wasn't an easy fight, but he dominated his opponent. Brad Pickett got fight of the night. Um, some really good Brazilian guy out of uh, Aldo's comp, camp. So it was a good card, not a great one. Um, but the main thing on the card was obviously Munoz being dominant. Um, next week's going to be crazy in Anaheim because it's the Fox show. So um, going to be down there. Then the following week, showdown in, um, in Utah, Salt Lake City. And working a couple corners there. Um, I got Dane fighting, Tandy's fighting. Danny Gunn is fighting. Uh, we got, I think Nate's fighting if his opponent. Maybe they can find him another opponent. I think his opponent um, pulled out with an injury. Um, so that's that. Um, sad day in boxing. Joe Frazier, one of the one of the greats, uh, died uh, cancer. Um, he was best known for his his uh, trilogy with. Um, uh, Muhammad Ali, but he also was, you know, a champion and fought everybody and just hit like a mule and was tough as tough can be. So that was great. Uh, he had one of the best left hooks in the business, and I actually um, trained my guys and modeled my fighting a lot out of his left hook. Um, he had a great left hook, um, and his bobbing and weaving. You know, Smoke and Joe is famous for his bobbing and weaving and then throwing powerful hooks, and he passed away, so that's sad. Um, Michael Jackson's doctor got a manslaughter, which I think is recalculous. Uh, I think maybe he should have been disciplined, maybe even suspended, but to me, manslaughter is like if you kill somebody without their knowledge or you hit him with a car or you you know, kind of accidentally, but not really accidentally, kill him. Um, that's manslaughter as opposed to second de degree murder. Uh, I think he gave Michael Jackson too many meds, but it, I'm sure is what, what, what Michael Jackson was asking for. So, I mean, I think the only problem with this is this sets a precedent, and I don't think it's a bad one, but you guys that are out there on pain meds and you're in a lot of pain, uh, your docs are going to have to think twice about giving you what you want now because they're going to be liable. I mean, they always have been, but this this case, I think, um, kind of puts the doctor in a kind of unfair predicament. You know, I mean, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You can't let your patients be in pain or not be able to sleep or in anxiety, but then when you give them too much meds, then you're a drug dealer and you're convicted of manslaughter if they die. So, um, you know, then you say no, and then they're going to be more anxious and be in pain and not be able to sleep. So I wouldn't want to be in that, in, that, in that predicament at all. I wouldn't want to have to make that decision. I mean, you either tell them no or you give it to them, and you're screwed either way. So I don't know. To me, it sets a pretty bad precedent. Um, another little thing I got, I, there's a little thing that kind of irritated me. Uh, some guys are sponsoring a show, you know, that when you sponsor a show, I'm not saying they're putting on the show, but you're sponsoring. When you sponsor a show or you sponsor a fighter, um, Sweet Sweat sponsors Court McGee. Um, DNL, uh, uh, DNB, something in Buster, sponsors the UFC. Bud Light sponsors the UFC. But when Cain Velasquez wins the title, he doesn't say, I'm a Bud Light fighter. If Corp McGee wins his fight, he doesn't say, I'm a Sweet Sweat fighter. They're not, they're, they're, they're paying the fighter 
or the promotion to put a logo on the, the either the canvas, the ring posts, or the fighters' trunks. They're not actually the fighters' camp. Um, like Court McGee fights for the pit, uh, Kane Velasquez represents AKA. He fights for the UFC. So you sponsors out there that pay to have a logo put on the shorts or the apron, the ring apron, that's not your fighter. I mean, you don't say, you know, you don't say, hey, you know, but like, you don't say, hey, that's my fighters. Those are my fighters, uh, you know, Velasquez and Junior Del Santos and John, you know, John Jones, they're my fighters. No. You just paid to have some advertising put on your the ring apron or even the fighter shorts. That's what sponsoring the fighter does. It, it doesn't mean that fighter is your fighter and you can't claim that fighter is your fighter. You can just say, hey, I paid you know, 2,500 bucks or 5,000 bucks to have my logo put on the guy's shorts. That's, I mean, that's the extent of your the fighter representing you, all right? Just get it clear, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'll talk to you later.